In this video, I'm going to take us through downloading free software from the Microsoft Dream Spark site. As you can see, the first thing we need to do is go to channel8.msdn.com and that's the main download site. At the top of the screen, we should see a link, get software for free, so we'll click on that. That takes us to the download site. There are all sorts of products you can download and the best way to get started is by scrolling down and looking for this button labelled Get Started. So we'll click on that. It takes us to the, the screen where we can view all the products that we can download from Microsoft. As I'm a programmer, I think I'll choose Visual Studio 2008. So we'll click on that. And the first thing we have to do is sign in to the Microsoft site. So we'll click on the sign in button. Wait for it to come up on the screen. Now I don't actually have a Windows Live ID. What You really should have two things for this system to work. You already have one which is your UHI user identity. The other thing you need is a Windows Live ID. So I'll sign up for one just now by clicking on the sign up button. It takes a wee minute to come up on the screen. I don't want a free MSN Hotmail email, email address as I already have one so I'm going to choose use my existing email address. I have a special one here for testing this site. If I can remember it. And that's it there. Password. Choose a secure password, which you can remember. You will always have to use this password to get into MSN using this email address. And I'll just change that because it's nice that. UHI student one. Question. Choose a question to associate with your account. Oh, what's mine? Favourite teacher. Mr. Agu. And to verify that you are who you say you are, we should now type in this huge mess of numbers. If it's difficult to see, just click on the refresh button. That's not very good either. Let's go for that. I think that should be correct. Click on continue. Personal information we now to give Microsoft now. Not too much. I'm just going to say January the 1st, 1900. I'm in educational services. Student. And I'll just say other for the moment. Not specified, not specified. The home location, United Kingdom. State, we don't have one, that's America. I'm going to use UHI's postal code for this. And we're in Scotland. Ah, there we go. Continue. Review and sign the agreements. Yep. I shall now type in my use email address again. UHI. And accept. And that should take us to the next screen. Click on continue. and we'll return to the download site where we can download the free software. Now the next step of the process is Microsoft <coughs> will now ask UHI to verify your MSN account as a UHI student account. And the easiest way to do this, we can go to the map and we can click on the Europe region. 
it'll bring up a list of countries. Click on United Kingdom. If we scroll down this little box here, scroll down until we see <coughs> UHI Millennium Institute. Select and continue. Now we log in at UHI using your UHI username, <coughs> the name you use to log into Groupwise or eDirectory. So I'll just log in using my test account. And that should take us back to the Microsoft site. And we've managed to do it okay. As you can see, <coughs> we've <coughs> excuse me, we've now verified our student status with Microsoft. So now we can view all the products that we can download. And we chose to download Visual Studio. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Agree to the terms and conditions. Have a quick read, make sure you're okay with them. Now when you download the, the application, you'll have to register it with Microsoft. So you need to get a key by clicking on the key, the get key button. After a brief delay, we get the key. Now make a note of that by copying and pasting it somewhere. And then we can just download the application from Microsoft. After a bit of a delay, we should get a new window opening which will contain the Microsoft applet for downloading their products. It takes a wee minute or two to come up. But when it does appear, it should do everything for you. It should take a while to download, as it's quite a big application. But that's how to download free software from the Microsoft DreamSpark site.